how to set gain on a mixing console now what is gain what does it do why is it important and how can it be set right so these are the questions i seek to answer in this video as well as a practical demonstration of the entire gain setting procedure so if you want to see those then i would advise that you stick to the end of this video coming up Now, one thing to consider when plugging inputs to your mixing console is that each instrument or microphone produces electrical signal at different voltage levels. Now, these need to be matched with the nominal level of your mixer. The nominal level of the mixer is the most efficient voltage level at which the mixer operates without distorting the signal and adding noise. So, the gain knob is probably the single most important knob in your entire channel stream. Before we continue, there are a couple of things I'd like you to know about gain. First of all, gain has a variety of different names. So depending on the manufacturer, gain can sometimes be referred to as stream, input stream, gain sensitivity, or input sensitivity. Now, the second thing is that gain is not the same as volume. So with volume, you can either increase or decrease the signal level, while with gain, you're only interested in increasing the signal level to match the nominal voltage level of your mixing console and the reason for this is that most mixers operate as what at what is known as line level um, which is an order of magnitude higher than microphone level so when an input is plugged in for it to be able to be handled by the circuitry in the mixer it has to be increased hence the name gain it has to be increased to match the nominal level of the mixing console and lastly gain is not a set to taste sort of thing because if you set it too high you get distortion and then if you set it too low you will be processing a whole bunch of noise so there is a proper procedure for setting gain which is what we'll go into in a moment when setting up gain for an input channel the first thing to do after plugging in your input is to press the pfl button now pfl stands for pre fader listen and depending on the manufacturer of your console it can also be referred to as solo button or the q button and so what pfl does is that it takes your incoming signal directly to your headphones as well as to your vu meter for monitoring ask the musicians to sing into their microphones or play their instrument as they would in a normal performance while gently increasing the gain knob until the loudest part of the signal just hits the zero dB mark as that is the nominal voltage level of the mixer so do this for all the different inputs and your gain is set for your entire input now it's worth mentioning that some input sources give out signals that are already too high even with the gain knob turned all the way down such as keyboards music playback devices and even kick drums so if the um, signal level cannot be turned down at the source then the path switch can be used what the path switch does is to bring down the level of the signal to a point whereby the gain can be used to match the signal with the nominal level of the mixer let's demonstrate the gain setting procedure i'll be connecting the output of my mixer to the camera while setting gain for a dynamic microphone with my voice as well as a music playback device for the dynamic microphone i'll be using the akg d660s uh, with my voice and for the music playback device, I'll be using my PC to play music off of YouTube. So let's get on with it. So for this demonstration, I'm using the Yamaha MG2414FX. And I've plugged my dynamic microphone into input 16 of the mixing console. So let me quickly switch to the mixer output. Check 1, 2. Check 1, 2. Check 1, 2. Check one two, check one two, check. So we started seeing signal. Check one two, check one two, check one two, check one two. Normally, this is where you'd like to leave your um, gain set out for this microphone. Check one two, check one two. You see the loudest signals; they are just bouncing between zero and plus one dB, and I think this is perfect. Now, one thing to note is that when setting gain for your musicians as well as your speakers you would have them speaking to the microphone the same way they would when they are performing so that when the gain is set maybe for example singers if they um you set gain for their microphones when they are not yet in the mood for performing and when they start performing and get into the spirit of the moment and start shouting it will affect your entire mix so 
Let's switch to setting gain for a music playback device. I'll just pull up YouTube right now and pull out this. So we're playing this video, Tenny Bilonia Sax Cover by Justin Abara. So let's hit the PFL button and slowly turn up the gain. Okay, it seems we're having signal. It's not quite loud enough yet. Okay. Yeah, so hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up icon. And if you got any form of value from the video, a sub to the channel would be amazing. I'm Kelvin, I'll see you in the next one. Since you made it this far, why not check out this video on the simplest approach to setting up PA system or you can click to watch this one right here.